So guys, today I'm going to take up a numerical example in the area of cargo work and uh, I'll take up one question and show you the solution and explain the finer points of the question so that it will help you to solve similar examples in the exam. So let's get started with it. So the question here is that there is a tank, uh, the dimensions of which are 9 by 8 by 8 meter and the tank is to be loaded with oil of uh, relative density 0 0.92 at 20 degrees Celsius. Um, make sure that you note here that relative density has no units, it has only a number. Alright, because relative density is a ratio, so there will be no units. The oil is to be loaded at a temperature of 20 degrees Celsius. The question asks you how many tons of oil should be loaded if an allowance of 3% of the tank volume. So make note of these important details here. You have to leave 3% of the tank volume. All right, so always make a note of uh, what you have to leave. Sometimes they may say 3% of the volume of the oil to allow it for expansion. And sometimes they may say 3% of the tank volume just like it says in this question. So when it says 3% of the tank volume, you have to remember that it is the volume of the tank and then 3% of that has to be left free. So 3% of the tank volume is to be made for the expansion of oil at the highest temperature, which will be 28 degrees Celsius. I'll highlight this because again, this is an important detail, which will be expected on the voyage. So the highest temperature expected on the voyage will be 28 degrees Celsius and we'll be loading the oil at 20 degrees Celsius. Alright, so these are some of the important bits. Uh, the temperature at the load port is 15 degrees Celsius. What is the ratio of free space to occupied space in the tank at the loading port if the density correction factor is 0 0.0005 per degree Celsius? Now, as I'll go along, I'll explain the importance of each of this information given. So bear with me, stay patient and make sure that you understand the first details before you move on to the next. Now here, I have started with the solution. So the solution has started. I have to now visualize what is it that is happening at this port here. So I have drawn the tank here, the dimensions of which are 9 meter by 8 meter and 8 meter. Now, of course, my importance here is given to the height because it is uh, the height that will get affected when I leave 3% of the tank for expansion. It will not affect the length of the tank or the breadth of the tank. It will only be the height because you cannot control loading, uh, limiting the length or the breadth of the tank. You can only control the height. Common sense. All right. So let's visualize this is the tank and the tank has now been filled with oil. This is oil. Right. And now you have to leave 3% of the volume of the tank or I can also say I can leave 3% of the height of the tank which will be the allege. Allege is the height of the free space. So in this case the sounding becomes the depth up to which the oil has been filled and allege becomes the height of the free space. So if 3% of the height is to be left alone because when I say 3% of the volume I mean 3% of the height because you cannot leave out 3% of the length or the breadth you can only leave out 3% of the height all right so 3% of the height will be 3 by 100 multiplied by 8 which is equal to 0.24 meter so your allege is 0.24 meter and that would mean your sounding is 8 minus 0.24 which is equal to 7.76 meters now i have visualized all this if you didn't still understand it don't worry let's keep moving and you will get it now you have once you have loaded the oil inside the tank you have to remember that there will be no change in the mass of the oil only volume of the oil will change with change of temperature do you know why so if I increase the temperature if I increase the heat the oil will start to expand. Why does the oil expand? Because the molecules start to get expanded. The molecules start to lose the strength with which they are bound together. So as the molecules start to expand, 
the oil starts to expand that doesn't mean the mass of the oil changes it's the volume of the oil that changes if i can explain it with another example imagine there to be elastic band or a rubber band now if the elastic band is like this right now if i stretch out this elastic band from all sides and i make it wide only the volume that is occupied the elastic band changes the mass of the elastic band doesn't change all right something very similar happens to the oil as well once the oil is loaded and you, there is any temperature change the oil will either expand with increase of temperature or contract with decrease of temperature so only the volume will start to change expand or contract but the mass overall will remain the same this is the most important bit that you have to understand here and i will reinforce this point when i again start talking about how the change in the temperature affects the relative density so i will repeat what i showed you above when you are filling a tank you cannot restrict the length and the breadth of the tank with oil you can only restrict the height up to which the oil is filled so imagine a box take a box shoe box start putting water in it and you can see that you cannot control the length and the breadth of the shoe box to which you fill the water you can only control the height something very similar all right so the total height i showed you was 8 meters the alleged to be left alone was 3% of the 8 meters so 8 minus 0.24 is 7.6 meter this is the sounding up to which the oil will be filled oil will be filled up to a height of 7.76 meters therefore volume of the oil will be length of the tank multiplied by the breadth of the tank and multiplied by the sounding up to which you will fill the oil not the height of the tank because you have to leave three percent of the tank alone free for the oil to expand if you fill up the tank fully then once the oil expands it will spill out it will not have any space to stay contained it will spill out so you leave some free space in the tank so that the oil can expand and still stay within the tank all right that's why you leave it alone so 9 by 8 by 7.76 which i got from here will give me the volume of the oil to be loaded now if i load this much volume then i will have three percent of the volume of the tank free this is what you have to remember now highest temperature expected during the voyage is 28 degrees all right so i know that my oil will experience a maximum temperature of 28 degrees celsius but the loading temperature is 20 degrees celsius so i am going to load the oil at 20 degrees celsius so now the relative density of the oil is currently sitting at 0 0.92 and the density correction factor given to me in the question is 0 0.0005 per degree celsius so how does i apply this or how do i apply this so that would mean that if i load the oil at 20 degrees celsius the relative density remains 0 0.92 but if i increase the temperature to 28 degrees celsius during the voyage that is going to happen the relative density will also change so once the molecules start to expand the density also changes the molecules contract the density also contracts right so a compact object is more dense than a liquid a liquid is expands it, it expands sorry and that's why it is not as dense as a solid so similarly the relative density will change with temperature as well and how will it change so we take the current relative density which is 0 0.92 and then we subtract the difference of 28 degrees minus 20 degrees and multiply it with the density correction factor 0 0.0005 because that is m by the amount of which the density will change so 28 minus 20 is the temperature difference experienced from the loading port to the voyage temperature difference experienced multiplied by the density correction factor now what you have to note here is i have used a negative sign here there's a negative sign here why because like i said if the temperature starts to increase the density also changes so from 20 to 28 as the density will start to increase as the temperature will start to increase and the liquid will start to expand it will become less dense so the density will reduce so that's why i have used subtraction because just imagine this now if this is an ice all right 
this is a block of ice the density of this is 0.92 but if I heat it and I make it liquid and now it has spread over a surface this like this the density will be much less it is not as dense as the block of ice so this has reduced now so this is how you have to visualize it so whenever there will be a temperature increase density will decrease and this is what I am trying to show here as soon as temperature increases relative density decreases and as soon as the temperature decreases relative density will increase so here I have used the negative sign because the temperature is going to increase from 20 to 28 if it was going to decrease I would have used a positive sign. so these are the things you have to remember when you are solving these questions so now that I have found out the density of the oil when the temperature will reach point uh, 28 degrees Celsius I can now find out the mass of the oil so mass like I said will not change mass is equal to volume by density so mass of oil at 28 degrees Celsius will be mass of oil at the loading temperature that is 20 degrees Celsius it won't change so from above I will put the volume that I calculated 558.72 I have calculated it before here 558.72 this is the oil to be loaded so that I have a 3% allege in the tank and I will multiply it with the density that I will experience during the voyage and now I know I can load 511.79 now if I load 511.79 and not 558.72 this will help me to compensate for the increase in temperature if I had loaded 558.72 that is the volume of the tank anyway that is the volume of the oil if I had multiplied with the original density then I am not taking into account the increase of temperature during the voyage so I have to take into account the expansion of oil for that I have to consider the minimum density that the oil will go up to so that I can account for the expansion and that's why I have to use the density at 28 degrees Celsius not 20 degrees Celsius so if I had used a 20 degrees Celsius density I would have used 0.92 but I can't do that otherwise I will not have enough space for expansion so that is the mass of oil so volume of oil now will also changed because the mass has changed in respect to 28 degrees Celsius so volume of oil now occupied at loading temperature will be the new mass of oil divided by the density but the loading temperature at the port is not 20 degrees it is 15 degrees Celsius right so relative density will be 0.92 plus why have I added plus now why have I added plus because although the cargo was to be loaded at 20 degrees I am loading it at 15 degrees lesser temperature so therefore this time I will add it and the difference of temperatures are here difference of temperature all right and now density will be more because I am loading it at lesser temperature relative density is more as it will go from 15 to 20 degrees relative density will reduce and from 20 to 28 it will reduce further so loading temperature at the port is 15 degrees Celsius so my relative density will be as per 15 degrees Celsius 0.9225 so volume of the oil to be loaded will be the mass of oil to be loaded which will be unchanged with the changing temperature but the density will change this is the new relative density 0.9225 so my volume of the oil will be 554.79 metric cube at 15 degrees Celsius which is the temperature at the loading port right but the total volume of the tank is 9 by 8 by 8 which is 576 meter cube my volume left free is 576 minus 554.79 which I am going to load so my volume left free is 21.21 metric cube now this is the volume left free so ratio of the free space to the occupied space is so if this is my tank and I have filled it up with oil up to here this is 554.79 this is the volume and this here the empty space is 21.21 so the ratio will be calculated by 21.21 divided by 554.79 which is equal to 1.1 divided by 26.16 or 1 is to 26.16 this is the answer so the points here to note always remember that mass of the oil will not change but the volume will keep changing and the relative density that you always use should be based on the temperature 
all right and as the temperature increases relative density decreases and vice versa so let me know if you still have any doubts or any questions regarding this question i will take up more examples i'll take up number of examples so that even if you are in doubt you can watch these examples and learn the right thing to do bye for now